common depiction when it comes to religious context with Mary and Christ. But let's break away from the religious and let's turn to the secular. The artworks of Mary Cassatt and Kathy Collitz pick up on the bond between a mother and child and call attention to the influential moments in development. Coming from a large family, Mary Cassatt was one of seven children, two of which died as infants. After the death of her sister Lydia, she used her experience as creative fuel. She began painting portraits of Lydia, her mother, and her family and friends between the time of her sister's death in 1882 and her brother's death in 1906. Cassatt experienced many deaths in her immediate family, which sparked some inspiration for her newer series. She became known for her series of mothers and child using delicate pastel colors and unblended brush strokes. Her most well-known work is The Child's Bath. The mother is on the ground with her daughter on her lap, tenderly and delicately washing the child's feet in the bowl of water. The mother is holding her daughter with her left arm, while the child is firmly positioned on her lap with her hand pushing against her mother's knee for support. There is a nurturing feel between the two. Cassatt concentrated on the use of bold patterns and outlines, as shown in the mother's dress, to make the child stand out. The artist used a flattened perspective, similar to Japanese prints. As you can see, there is an interesting and kind of confusing perspective, looking at the vase and the bowl of water. You can just barely see the opening of the vase, almost from a side view perspective. The bowl of water is shown as if from an aerial perspective, allowing the viewer to see the entire inside of the bowl. Although it shows these objects at different perspectives, Cassatt manages to make the figures and background appear flattened with a lack of shadowing and dimension. Most traditional artists don't dare to foreshorten faces, keeping it simple and looking so natural. Cassatt foreshortened the mother and the daughter's faces to make it look as if their heads are face downwards, intently looking down at the child's feet. The impressionistic style is clearly evident with the visible brush strokes, ordinary subject matter, and unusual visual angles. The woman is wearing a lot of clothing and the child is uh, basically naked because it's being washed. Um, so that's like a big contrast between the little girl and her mother. And so it's just kind of interesting that um, the mother is completely covered, like barely any of her skin is showing. And I just think that kind of brings back to a long time ago where uh, women shouldn't be exposed in a lot of skin. Um, but it is okay for the little kid to... Um, just interesting. Uh, and so they have similar poses. The little girl is watching her mom, how she cleans her feet. So she's like learning from her mom. And um, the the patterns in the background, so the walls in the background, the floor pattern directly contrast with the floors in the picture, as well as even adding the woman's dress. Just three very different patterns within the picture. The way the mother is positioned while washing her child is on her lap, and it would seem like she'd have to be raised off the floor to wash her child's feet. Um, but the dimensions from the background to the people in the foreground, is that right? Foreground? Um, it's just, you can't tell. So it's almost like she's on the floor, but she should be raised up. and especially where her leg, the child's legs meet the washing bin. Um, the, you're, not, you're not sure if it's like flat or if her knees are bent. Woman with Dead Child displays a range of substyles within German Expressionism. The piece, with sculptural qualities, portrays a crouching naked female with her child in her lap. Kathy Kollwitz uses the techniques of etching and soft ground etching to create the contrast between light and dark shadows within the piece. The lack of the color in the piece, besides the gold toned background, allows the viewer to focus on more of the meaningful aspects, such as the facial expressions and the body language of the figures. The subject of the piece is not joyful or happy. The way the mother is holding the child and the way the child's neck seems to be dangling, one can tell that there is no life left in the child's body. In this piece, Kathy Kollwitz went in a different direction than many German Expressionist artists before her and went back to a more classical time in art where the subject was determined by figures, movement, and expressions, rather than vibrant colors and abstract designs. The darkness of the mother's head contrasts with the spotlight of the child's head. The shadowing focuses the viewer on the child. The use of sfumato makes the outline softer. It shows the connection and care that the mother has for the child. They become almost one figure. The work displays a the theme of a mother caring for her child, but also embodies loss and death. The darkness of this piece contributes to the grief of the mother.
So what I was looking at is the lines appear more straight and angular. And after reading the caption and finding out it was a woman, I didn't initially get that feeling, the jaggedness of the lines kind of look like woodcuts almost, how they have the etched out lines. Um, I think the difference between the mother and the child is quite cool, the difference in color, because the mother seems more saturated with dark lines where the child is very faint. And I think the faintness kind of helps with the idea that it's passed away. They both are depicting mothers and their children, and they're both depicting uh, mothers who clearly care for their children in different ways. The first one, um, she's like bathing her kid, it looks like. And then the next one, it looks like she's like, holding on to her baby. But they're both really different looking, like stylistically and the kind of pictures that they're showing. The second one definitely uh, looks like it's a really different style than the first one. The first one's got a lot of color in it and a lot of like detail and the second one's just more about the raw emotion of what the mother's feeling. The women depicted in the bath and woman with dead child hold on to their children with opposing intentions. The tender relationship between mother and child seen in the bath juxtaposes with the animalistic passion represented in the hold the mother has on her limp child and woman with dead child. Both women cling to their children with maternal instincts, one gently holding on while cleaning her child the other crouched down and moved with loss and grief. The image of a mother and child is traced back to the Virgin Mary and her son Jesus Christ. Massat's painting compares the images of Mary and the Christ child, while Kalwitz's etching alludes to the death of Jesus, yet it has a universal quality of the loss of a child.